Hi guys, welcome to another audio, video, and dab reading, Micah 7 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits as the grape gleanings of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat. My soul desired the first ripe fruit. The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net. That they may be do evil with both hands earnestly, the prince asketh, and the judge asketh for a reward. And the great man he uttereth his mischievous desire, so they wrap it up. The best of them is as a briar, the most upright is sharper than a thorn hedge. The day of thy watchmen and thy visitation cometh, no shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoureth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the Lord for of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall rise, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, because I have sinned against him, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her, no shall she be trodden down as the miry of the streets. In the day that thy walls are to be built, in that day shall the decree be far removed. In that day also he shall come even to thee from Assyria and from the fortified cities, and from the fortress even to the river, and from the sea and from sea to sea, and from mountain to mountain. Notwithstanding the land shall be desolate, because of them that dwell therein, for the fruit of their doings. Fee thy people with thy rod, and the flock of thine heritage, which dwell solitarily in the wood, in the midst of Carmel, let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I shew unto him marvellous things. The nations shall see and be confounded at all their might. They shall lay their hand upon their mouth, their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God and shall fear because of thee. Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger for ever because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again, he will have compassion upon us, he will subdue our iniquities, and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou wilt perform the truth to Jacob, and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where basically the prophet is, Alleging the fact that the Lord will actually raise up back his people, will raise up his people once more from their demise and from the desolation that they're in, and they'll be raised up above their enemies. And it speaks to the fact that there's no other God like our God. The fact that our God is faithful, he will be there for us, and he will make us triumphant over all our enemies. Even though he is angry for a time, his anger will pass because his mercy is everlasting and he is most merciful and he wants only good for his people and for that he will always 
come true for us and he'll always be there for us and we can rest assured in that promise that he'll always be there for us and there's always mercy from him right and also it brings back to the forefront of our minds the fact that the Lord does not go back on his promises because in this chapter it shows that he will have mercy right and he will perform truth to Jacob and have mercy to Abraham as he had sworn back in the days Abraham and Jacob being the tribe of Judah and also the children of Israel right being separated but they're not separated they're one okay so that's that so guys just remember to continue to just trust in god and continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye